Hello everyone, welcome to Radiology Case Review Series. In this video, we are going to look at images of a young male patient who presented to emergency department following blunt abdominal trauma. I have arterial and delayed venous phases images. On the arterial face images, as I scroll through, we can see a large retroperitoneal hematoma which is surrounding the iliac vessels on the right side. On the bone window settings, there was no acute fracture identified in the pelvic bones. We also did delayed venous images. As you scroll through, you can see normal left common iliac vein. But in the region of right common iliac vein, there is no vein identified. We see active contrast traversation as you scroll back and forth. You can see multiple foci of active contrast traversation in the region of retroperitoneal hematoma. And we can identify normal iliac vein on the contralateral side but there is no iliac vein identified on the right side as I keep scrolling down further on the delayed venous phase we can see normal left external iliac vein but no right external iliac vein is identified we can see filling defect in the right external iliac vein which extends into the distended right common femoral vein Again on this snapshot images, we can see contralateral, normal appearing, common iliac vein, normal left common iliac vein. But on the right side, there is active contrast traversation from the iliac vein. Appearances are consistent with iliac vein laceration due to blunt abdominal trauma. There is an AAST grading scale for vascular injury and iliac vessel injury is categorized under grade 3. In this case report, they hypothesize that iliac vessel injury is due to sudden extension of the hip and force in the direction of the long axis of the common iliac vein. At least based on this case report, it looks like iliac vessel injury is pretty rare. There are hardly less than 10 cases published based on this case report. So iliac vein laceration due to blunt abdominal trauma is a very rare finding has a high mortality patients presents with large retroperitoneal hematoma as we saw in our case diagnosis can be made based on cath and venogram delayed ct venous images as we obtained in our patient or during surgery in terms of management it can be treated with primary repair which is what our patient underwent if the vein laceration is pretty bad the vein has to be sacrificed it can also be treated with endovascular treatment if the laceration is not big and patient is hemodynamically stable. These patients can also be conservatively managed. I hope you found this case of iliac vein laceration due to blunt abdominal trauma interesting. Thanks for your attention.